Hey, this is Bond Diesel with the final entry uh, into this part of my Intel Insights. So this is the sixth entry, and this will be going over Keener's Confession, which I believe was probably the set of recordings people were the most excited to hear, and I think provides the most information about um, the division and what I personally think is possibly a sequel. But we will talk about more, uh, that more after I go through um, the five recordings here. So. Let's get on it. Hello, this is Aaron Keener. Now, don't tell me you've forgotten me. I'm the bad guy, remember? Oh, I didn't cause any of this, but if you ask the JTF, I sure as hell made it worse. Of course, if you're asking the JTF for anything besides some bottled water, you got bigger problems. But the news is simple. I'm alive, I'm real, and I'm not done yet. Not by a long shot. Anyway, I hear you've been looking for me. Does Lau know why? Do you? And right about now, I'll bet you're wondering if I was ever even here on the west side. The answer is yes, I was. You can look for me all you want, and so can those morons with the golf clubs and the flamethrowers. But you will never find me. More questions? Oh, I'm sure you got dozens of them. Like, uh, why the west side? It's easy enough. I needed a few things, and central Manhattan had been picked clean. And why let the factions know I was here? To get them to chase me and the JTF to chase them and pull their eyes off the prize. And what's my end game? Well, that I am not telling. But don't waste time getting indignant. Instead, let's talk facts. You are not going to catch me. Not even close. Let's put that another way. If you had even the faintest shot at getting a hold of me, do you think I'd be taking the time to send you a message? Both of us are smarter than that. But at least I've got your attention, and that's all I want. For now. The quarantine as it's set up is good. Good at keeping idiots on the island. Oh sure, the Coast Guard's watching the water and the JTF's guarding the bridges and the tunnels, but the thing is this. The weakest component in any system is people. All it takes is one guy who'll take a bribe, one optimist who thinks he's smarter than everyone else, one desperate mother or father who'll do anything for their kid, and the whole system breaks down. And that one little slip, that one tiny crack, that's all I needed. And now, I'm gone. <laughs> There's a whole wide world out there for me to take a big bite out of. Now, maybe you can figure out just how I did it. Maybe you'll decide to do the same one day, when you get tired of fighting an endless fight for people who just aren't worth it. When that time comes, maybe you and I can work together, after all. Just one last thing. If you ever get off this rock, don't come looking for me. When I need to, I'll find you. And there it is. There's the, the last set of recordings from the West Side Piers. And um, this one's a little more extensive than the other one. So I'm actually going to go back on the screen here and, and kind of go through each one uh, real quickly and then kind of sum up my thoughts at the end. So the, the first one here... Um, it, I don't really think gives us a ton of information other than confirming that Keener uh, it was, is or was uh, still around and, and still happy to uh, keep dropping us some breadcrumbs um, with himself. The, uh, the second one I find interesting, even just that first line there, um, does Lau know why you're looking for me? Do you know why you're looking for me? So if you remember the very last mission, uh, Lost Transmission or something like that, I believe, uh, at the at the end of that um, dialogue there, he offers uh, to, to take you on, to bring you on to his side. Um, it, it's Then it goes on asking, you know, was he there? Yes, he was. 
um, talking about how he dragged, tried to drag everyone over there to take everyone's eye off the prize. I find that statement really interesting because it leads me to believe there um, is still a game or a goal he's trying to attain um, in the original part of the game, the Dark Zone or the, the, the LZ as we know it. Um, I don't really have more insight on that. I don't really know what he's talking about, but I do find it um, rather interesting. Um, the third one here, uh, he, so this one's interesting because he really leads us to believe that, hey, look, there's no chance you're ever going to find me. There's nothing. Now, if you remember his missing agent file and you remember reading through it, um, he is basically a, a classic narcissist. And so I know it's easy to look at him as this game's evil villain and that, you know, if he's saying this thing, he must be right, you know. But you have to understand that, you know, someone with that type of personality, while it can make them very successful in some ways, obviously, if you consider what he's doing a success, it's also normally their greatest downfall. Um, that cockiness tends to lead um, to people's downfalls uh, in these situations as well. So while he seems extremely confident, I would expect no less, I wouldn't necessarily take that for him being infallible and uh, invincible. So in the fourth one, he basically talks about, he's basically alluding to um, how he has or is going to get off the island. Uh, I assume that he has not left the island as of this recording because the recordings are here in the West Side Piers. He is implying, though, that one way or the other, he's um, gotten himself across the river uh, and, um, you know, is, is nowhere to be found here. And, uh, you know, we'll uh, explore that more in this last one. He's saying he's gone. He's saying he's gone. There's not a chance, uh, you know. I do like the the mention here of the endless fight for people who just aren't worth it. Uh, you know, that's I feel like almost kind of a nod to uh, us playing the same content over and over again, and kind of talking about how we're constantly trying to save what we we're already working on. And you know, obviously for us, that's for a loot end game, but in the context of the game, you know, that, I feel like that's a little bit of a nod to that. Um, again, here he mentions uh, maybe you and I can work together after all. Um, again, a nod to the end of the original game. And, uh, and then this last little bit here of when I need to, I'll find you. So this is where it kind of wraps up. And I feel like this is supposed to be some kind of a message from the devs and the game makers to us about a sequel. So this is where I feel like it goes one of two directions. I feel like there, um, is a chance that some kind of a sequel to this game will lead to another city or with a new agent and maybe a whole different situation. You could go to a city like Chicago or London or, you know, anywhere. It, it's really, hell, you could go to Sao Paulo or, or somewhere else. It's, um, it's kind of wide open. I think it also could mean, um, that either a sequel or some kind of year three content, which, you know, they haven't done much story content recently. This is the first story we've gotten since the original game, basically. And um, I could see a year three doing some story and potentially opening some more of this up. But I think it's more likely that we continue to pursue Keener um, in a different location in a sequel. And I feel like this set of intel kind of gives us that uh, that impression as well. So, you know, obviously I have no idea. I'm purely speculating and we shall see. Uh, you know, hopefully in the next year or so we get some kind of announcement about a sequel. Hopefully in the next month or so we get some kind of announcement about year three and what year three even means for this game. Um, I have high hopes, but I'm going to keep them checked because uh, I don't want to be disappointed and I want to be realistic. So um, we shall see, though. So I do, after I've done all these, I do feel like I'm going to continue this series, maybe on a slower basis or maybe with multiple Intel things at a time with the old Intel in the game and the underground Intel. Uh, and we will kind of see how that goes um, moving forward. So if you like this series, if you liked what you saw, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Please uh, thumbs up this video and drop a comment down below if you have any comments or questions uh, or ideas. Uh, check me out on Twitter. Uh, check me out on Twitch. I do stream a little bit. And until uh, until the next one, this was Bond Diesel.